Hello, and welcome to this What's New video for Inspect Build 7510. Today, I'm going to go over some of the new features that are going to be available to you. So let's get started. Some of the new features that I'd like to go over with you today will include our B313 pipe document, our B169 elbows, as well as our Microsoft Foundation class update, or MFC for short. This will be an enhancement to the user interface. Inspect now includes the ability to model damage mechanisms on a B313 pipe spool. As you can see in front of you, I have modeled the pipe spool with pitting, local, and general metal loss placed on the pipe. In order to model the pipe, users can now go to the file menu, select new, and select the B313 piping. This will open up a new file and our pipe dialog will come up. The dialog is very similar to our cylinder dialog where we can come in and select material, enter in our design conditions, select material options, as well as our B313 factors. And as you can see, we have our pipe modeled in front of us ready to put our damage mechanisms on, whether it be a 579 pitted area, local metal loss, or general metal loss. I'm going to switch back to the model I just showed you by clicking on the tab down here at the bottom, and let's run the calculations. So again, if I come up to the action menu, I'll select perform code calculations right here, and we can review the report. So this is the HTML version of the report, but as always, we can flip this over to PDF if we need to. So in the report, you'll now see an ASME B313 pipe report. Very similar to the Section 8 calculations, the layout, the tables here at the top, and then when we scroll down, you're going to see ASME B313 calculations throughout this report. From here, on the left, you can go through any of the damage mechanisms you may wish to model. For example, this GLF, this is actually just a short form for groove-like flaw that I set up our groove-like flaw, supplemental loads, calculations, things like that. You just simply click on the hyperlink and you can go through the entire report and inspect. Another new feature that I'd like to go over with you is the ability to model elbows on any nozzle connected to this vessel. So as you can see here, I have a couple of elbows modeled on my inlet and outlet nozzles for this heat exchanger. And what I'm going to do is open up one of these nozzles and show you the dialog. So what I'll do is I'll hover over nozzle N1 right here and I'm going to right click with my mouse to edit it. Now the first dialog is not changed. This is this dialog that we're all used to modeling with, with for our nozzles. But what I'm going to do is click next here. And on the second screen, in the bottom right hand corner you're going to notice an elbow connections button right here. So I'll go ahead and click on this and our elbow dialog will come up. Now it's a pretty straightforward dialog very similar to how we structure the rest of our dialog. So up at the top here we've actually pulled the uh, design conditions over from the nozzle but you can actually uncheck this option here for use nozzle design conditions and you can override those conditions. From here we just start going, working our way down the dialog. So for our nozzle connection, we can choose to connect it to a pipe, maybe a pipe and an elbow, or just an elbow. Then we have our pipe end connection, where again we can put nothing at the end of it. We could do a pipe, a pipe and a flange, maybe just a flange, flange and a pipe, and a flange with a pipe with a flange. So there's numerous configurations we can set up here. From here, we're going to select our elbow material from our pull down list right here and then we can look up our elbow size right here. Now for the most part most people will just click on this match nozzle dimensions and we'll be good to go. But what happens if we're modeling an increase or decreasing? Over here we have an elbow type pull down menu and we have a couple of options for you. We have a long radius 90 degree, a short radius 90 degree, a long radius 45, as well as reducing and increasing elbows. 
that we can put on this. So what I can do is select the reducing, for example, and look up those dimensions right here. Now I'm going to switch back to my long radius elbow and move on. From here, because I specified a pipe on this, I just come down to my pipe inputs, select my pipe material, click match nozzle dimensions, and then enter in my pipe length, and we're good to go. So I can click OK here, click OK again, and there's my elbow configuration modeled onto my nozzle. One of the other updates in Inspect Build 7510 is the update to the MFC. Included with this update is a fresher setting look of icons. So you'll see here up on the top, things look a little bit clearer. But you can also do a little bit of customization with this. So if you come up to this window right here, we can come down and select our background color. And you now have a choice of selecting a default color, which we've all come to um, be used to over the years. But we can also change it to something else. For example, we can make a black background, or if we don't like that, select another one, like so. I'd like to thank you for watching this quick video on what's new in Inspect Build 7510. If you have any questions or you'd like to see a demonstration, please email sales at codeword.com or give us a call at 941 927-2670.